Hi, today we are going to talk about the relationship between the semen and uh, the potency, erectile dysfunction. Many people, those who are having erectile dysfunction, they are coming with semen test and they say, I am normal or not. I am not having erection, good erection. But, um, so they bring a report of semen test and they ask, uh, to treat. Semen test is an irrelevant test for erectile dysfunction. Okay, uh, we see plenty of semen test because we are running a fertility center. So how to collect semen test, semen for the test and uh, what is the normal semen count? Semen should be collected between abstinence without sex, they should have a 2 to 7 days gap, minimum of 48 hours, 2 days, maximum of 7 days, not more than 7 days, not less than 48 hours. And they have to collect in a sterile container, wide mouth container, plastic container, non-toxic plastic quality wide mouth, it's not narrow mouth, sometimes it can injure the penis. And they should be given a separate room, masturbatorium. Most of the places they give dirty toilet to collect, collect semen. This is not good, they cannot collect. And if they collect it in their house, they have to bring it within an hour to the laboratory. They should not keep it in the fridge or AC car. They should keep it in their packet. Not directly under the sun also. It should be kept uh, not under sunlight but not inside the fridge also or AC car. So, it should be collected and examined immediately. What is the normal parameters? The amount, quantity of semen should be more than 1.5 ml of uh, ml. More than 5, 1.5 ml. Anywhere 3 ml, 4 ml, 5 ml, something like that. Not less than 1.5. The sperm count is per ml, 1 ml should contain 15 million minimum, more than that any amount. Total ejaculate, total amount of ejaculate, you would have ejaculated 2 ml, 3 ml, something like that. So in total ejaculate, you should have more than 39 millions. That means 3, uh, 3 crores 90 lakhs. That is 3.9 millions, 39 millions. And the motility, motile sperms, rapid and slow progressive should be more than 40%. And dead sperms should be, the live sperm should be 58%, rest may be dead sperms, minimum of 58 live. Morphologically, good sperms without any head defect, tail defect, neck defect. Minimum, bare minimum, very good sperms should be 4%. So, this is the sperm analysis. The viscosity and other sim uh, smaller parameters are there. It should not be way more viscous. It should become liquid within, initially it is liquid, then it will become solid, semen becomes solid. Then after some time, it should become liquid. Within 60 minutes, it should become liquid. So these are all the parameters we have to look into. Um, these are all ideal, but we should see WBCs, pustules also in the sperms. 
it should be less than 1 million in the ejaculate. So, these are all the parameters we should take into consideration for semen analysis. Thank you.